Okay, in this video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different as an experiment. Actually, this video is for you, YouTube, because we know that you want us to say what you wanna hear or we get demonetized or deplatformed. So this is for you. Now, I'm visiting today with American Joe Show and he put out this video where this nurse says this. My name's Tanika Bueno, I'm an RN with my BSN. I work on a cardiac unit and I wanted to share some information with you. Let me just stop right here. She better say what YouTube wants her to say, or we're gonna reject it. Okay, YouTube? So, when you come into the hospital and you have uh, respiratory alkalosis, which can be caused by anxiety or hyper, well, from hyperventilating, um, the treatment is this. Breathing in your own CO2. Now, why is that important? Because when CO2 gets into your bloodstream, it converts into acid. And so if you have respiratory alkalosis from breathing off too much CO2, this can be uh, life-threatening. And so um, breathing in your own CO2 can be the, the remedy for that. Um, it can reestablish pH balance of your bloodstream and is critical to saving these patients. Um, now, I wanted to share with you what this means. When you go out in public and you wear this at all hours of the day that you're outside, you are doing your body a disservice. You are... Well, clearly she's wrong. Oh, you want me to prove it? I'll show you how wrong she is. Look at this. That right there is Dr. Anthony Fauci and Deborah Burks. And you know what they're doing? They're wearing a mask. Actually, is that a is that a little baby girl diaper on Anthony Fauci's face? And what's Deborah Burks got on her face? Regardless, it doesn't matter. What they're doing is absolutely right, and you and I should not question it. They are our overlords. So what this lady's saying right here is complete heresy as far as YouTube's concerned. Am I right, YouTube? Am I right? You are creating an acidotic state of your blood. You are creating a pH imbalance. It is crucial to health to have a balance of pH in your bloodstream at all times. Why would you want to disrupt that? You're not over only why would we want to disrupt that because the government tells us we need to disrupt that don't you know there's a cv19 response team coming out of the white house telling us what we need to do and what we don't need to do we need to socially distance we need to wear masks we need to stay in our homes we need to not go out shopping we need to lock ourselves in until this crisis situation is passed. Don't you understand that? Breathing in your own bacteria, flora, the whole time because you're not getting fresh air, you're hurting your body by breathing in your own CO2 for long lengths of time. <sighs> Ma'am, you're clearly wrong. You don't need to question authority. You don't need to not turn your mind off. You don't need to question YouTube. You need to toe the party line. This is ridiculous, ma'am. I also want to share with you that this mask is highly, highly ineffective against viruses. Viruses are teeny tiny. And you may tell me, well, if they're ineffective against viruses, then explain this picture once again. If they're ineffective, then you're telling me that Deborah Burks right here and Anthony Diaper Fauci are wearing those masks for no reason. You're telling me that what they're engaged in is grossly ineffective. I, I just have trouble buying that. Oh, in my hospital, we wear an N95 mask. An N95 mask has to be fitted, first of all, and is supposed to protect, protect you against TB. What is TB? It is a bacteria. There's a big difference between a bacteria and a virus. 
mainly in size. A bacteria is about a thousand times bigger than a virus. So if you're telling me that I'm protecting myself when I go to the grocery store by wearing this, you're wrong. I'm actually making myself more prone to infection, one, by, by uh, making my body acidotic, and two, <laughs> when you have one of these on, you touch your face more often. <laughs> Viruses live on surfaces they're not alive until they enter the body. And so when you touch your face and your eyes continuously because you're adjusting the mask because you can't breathe, there's a problem with that. I want you to think about that. I want everyone to think. But ma'am, CNN's Caitlin Collins wears a mask. Jim Acosta wears a mask. The people at MSLSD are wearing masks. You have to be wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. About this. It's not common knowledge, apparently. <laughs> you're doing your body a disservice if you think that wearing a mask 24 seven is protecting someone because it's not. <laughs> I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this. I don't really care. <laughs> I feel like it's time for people to stand up for what they know to be true. And I love science. I, I feel the human body is a miracle. Why are we working against it instead of for it? Because Anthony Fauci and Deborah Burke says that's what we should be doing. And you should just shut up and go with the flow. Tell me, why are we working against our immune system instead of for our immune system? Because the government knocked on our door and they said, hey, we're here to help. And you have to just put down your defenses and believe them. Bump it up. Bump the immune system up. Stop trying to lower it down like we know better. We don't. The body knows far more than we ever will. Well, that's just not true because the COVID response team, they know far more than we ever will. And they know far more than our bodies ever will. So just... Step in line, bow down, lick the boots, and kiss the ring. And it can heal <laughs> if you give it the tools to do it. <laughs> um, I hope I hope that uh, sits in. I've studied for a long time. I have found the body incredibly amazing the whole time I've studied, uh, and I'm. I did a good job with my studies. I'm, I'm not someone that just uh, flew by school with the seat of her pants. <laughs> uh, so, hope this message hits home. Let me just direct your attention back to Anthony Fauci and Dr. Deborah Burks. That's Dr. Anthony Diaper Fauci and Dr. Deborah, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Burks. They know what's best for us, guys. Don't listen to that nurse. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You have to listen to the government. You have to listen to the biotech companies. You have to listen to the pharmaceutical companies. And for goodness sakes, you have to listen to Donald J. Trump because they will never, ever steer us wrong. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification icon, give them a thumbs up, share them with everybody you know, and don't forget to subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel, grab one of these hard-hitting, conversation-starting shirts from the shirt store. Your purchase helps support more content on this channel. I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video. We've seen some crazy crap happen in the past month that we never thought would happen in the United States of America. People fighting over toilet paper and disinfectant sprays, reports coming in from all over the place of empty store shelves, no meat, no chicken, no eggs, the rice is gone. The last thing you want to do is be at a store fighting over food with the rest of the lemmings. But you can sidestep all that by going to my website, preparewithhighimpactflicks.com, where you can pick up a couple months worth of delicious, nutritious, 2,000 calorie a day food that can store for up to 25 years. 
The site is preparewithhighimpactflicks.com and I'll throw that in the description and in the pinned comment for you. Never underestimate the power of stupid people in large crowds. It's better to have a food supply and not need it than to need it 